seen the numbers there, and uh, we we waited until we wanted to be sure. Um, and uh, more numbers are coming in literally as we speak. But uh, with 96 and a half percent of precincts <laughs> reporting, uh, it's Mark Schauer, 137,527 votes. Tim Wahlberg, 129,600. <laughs> It's looking good. <laughs> it's, uh, it's, it's very close. It's been a long night. I wanted to make sure that you were able to get some sleep tonight and uh, went to bed with, uh, with some certainty in how this is going to turn out. But bottom line, Tim Wahlberg can't catch us. <laughs> my wife Christine and our family, my mom and dad are here. I think you know, those of you that have poured your heart and soul into this campaign, what sacrifices you all have made and what sacrifices my family has made. I've missed you over these last months. <laughs> Uh, but, uh, you know, we've, we've all been very busy, uh, but I know none of this would have been possible without your love and support and dedication to the very same things that, that I've been dedicated to. It's the people and the families of this district and in, in this state that are hurting right now and need some help. So thank you, Christine. <laughs> this campaign and there are literally thousands of people. Uh, I've been called the Energizer Bunny during this campaign, but you are the ones that kept going and going and going until the last person voted tonight and for that I couldn't be prouder and I couldn't think of a better team to take into battle and I look forward to having as many of you as possible going into battle next time. <laughs> Thank you. isn't about me or even about a campaign. It's about the people of Michigan. It's about the people of Battle Creek and Jackson and Dexter and Morency and Grand Ledge and every community that uh, Hillsdale <laughs> You know, I've been crisscrossing this district, uh, I think literally passing myself on the highway for the better part of a year now. And thank you, Eddie. You know, I kept, I kept hearing, and I know you did too, the same things from, from people. Uh, people that are tired of unfair trade, that have seen their jobs shipped overseas. Um, they're tired of a tax system that supports the wealthiest and rewards companies that offshore our jobs. They're tired of a health care system that puts profit before patients and left more than a million people without basic health care. They're tired of this anything goes attitude that's created this economic agenda that's wrecked our economy. 
And after a hard campaign and a long night, I'm sure that you're all feeling a little bit tired too of this economy. Oh, no. But, <laughs> but the people of Michigan, and I know all of you, and I am ready to get started tomorrow, John. in Michigan want what's want to fix what's broken in Washington and to get results for the people of this district and that's why I ran for Congress for the line worker in Delta Township that's worried that their job will be the next shift overseas for the mother in Hillsdale who's worried she can't pay her medical bills for her child for the father in Adrian who might not be able to pay the next tuition bill for their daughter to keep going to college for the senior in Jackson who's worried their retirement might not be safe and the small business owner in Chelsea who's worried they might not be able to make their next payroll these are the people that this campaign has been about I know this race has gotten pretty heated at times yeah. but I want to take a moment to recognize Tim Wahlberg for running a tough campaign. I may not have always agreed with him, <laughs> but I admire anyone, anyone who's willing to step forward and serve the people of Michigan. It's been a, a hard fight, there's no doubt about it. But politics is about competing visions, but governing is about people coming together for a common purpose. And I intend to help govern this country through some very, very tough challenges. And here in Michigan, that common purpose is clear, turning our economy around one job at a time. Because we know in Michigan, if it's needed, we can build it. If it's possible, we can create it. And if it's broken, we can fix it. Thank you all so much. I look forward to getting started tomorrow. Yeah. <laughs> uh, what needs to be fixed in this country? I am so proud to be here uh, at uh, 117 in the evening with you, my closest friends, my supporters, people that have worked so incredibly hard. You are the best, highest quality people that anyone could ask for. And you know what? We did it. We did it! people of this state, the people of this district, and the people of this country. Let's get some rest and let's get started to rebuild this country from the ground up tomorrow.